Hi y'all, Paulette with Back to Basics Mom. Say I have a special video today and I'm going to have to do a little bit of cutting and pasting and, and whatnot to try and get this video right. So please bear with me, but I want to share with you an unboxing video. I was recently, took a short sort of vacation, not really, with my husband and I got to go to Las Vegas, which as soon as my stuff that I bought there arrives. I'll be sharing the stuff that I got at Viva Las Vegas Stamps. If you're not familiar with them, I will put a link to check them out on Facebook. But when I came home, what did I find on my craft table as an early birthday present from my mom? But the number one thing on my wish list, a brother scan and cut to yay, yay. So I am going to attempt to do a video of me unboxing this so I'm gonna pause here put my camera in the holder and see how it goes so I'll be back all right this might be a little tricky for me because my camera is a little close and I don't have a lot of adjustability in the height of where I put my camera so I am gonna do the best I can here so here's the top of the box and we will dig in. I'm going to try and not make you sick, too. So, it comes with... This is the mat. I will show it a little better, a little further away later on. But it's a 12 by 12 mat. It's actually a little longer than that. And then my mom got it the day on HSN when they had all the, the extra goodies with it. So it's got the deep cut blades. Um, these are markers and the deep cut blade holder. And the spatula and hook set. So sorry, that's so close. So those are little tools. And then another bonus that day um, was this disc with, I think, like a design studio on it. What does it say? Oh, design collection. That's what it says. It's got um, extra shapes and all that kind of stuff. So, put that. Put that somewhere safe so I don't break it. And then this is what it looks like in the box. So I'm going to do my best here to show you guys what this looks like. Got to move some things around so I don't have a lot of space. Alright, here we go. this is basically it and then there's another box inside it's got some extras it's, it's the power cord I did poke around at this a little bit and I can't remember what this I think this is the blade holder so but we will be finding out I think this is the marker holder I think that's what this is and then it comes with a little standard spatula and the stylus tool. But it comes in this nice little pouch, which I think is kind of sweet. It's kind of plasticky, so hopefully it will hold up a little bit. And then it's got, um, this is for the wireless networking, which I don't think I have the act. Usually that's something you have to pay extra for, and I know it was... A deal on that day but I don't think this is the model to get that deal so this is the instructions for wireless setup and then this is all the the manual and the, the get started paperwork so yep operations manual on disk try to get that so it's not all glared Let's get that up out of the way uh, important messages, blah, 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 operation manual, many different languages, added features, version 2.1, so we will poke through all that, 
let's finish unwrapping because that's the fun part. So this is kind of a nice open-ended I might I might keep this bag as a dust cover honestly till I get something better made. So and then everything's kind of taped on. Let's see how we can Oh, see, it just flips out. That was protecting the screen. Oh, and that's taped on. So we'll get all this tape off. And another quick. Ooh. Oh, that's going to come off anyway. There's lots of tape holding all kinds of things in place. But I. I am just so excited because this has been really high on my wish list for probably a good year and I never jumped on the Cricut bandwagon. Um, it seemed like all my friends had them so I never really needed to get one. Um, I just kind of always used theirs when we were together. That's a lovely sound. Um, so I never ended up getting one and then I discovered this and I was like, oh, I really want the skin and cut. Fold that down. More tape. More tape. So I'm really excited to see what this can do. And one of my past crafting, crafting hobbies is um, I do sew and I have done many quilts in my time and I just hasn't been my passion of late but I, I'm excited because this can also cut fabric so uh, I'm really excited to to see what I can explore with that and maybe even use some fabric elements and some cards or some scrapbook layouts just as a textural um, element because God knows I have got fabric I have got so much fabric yeah I could open a store so, um, all right, so that's that. Ooh, and that. Oh, a... gotta... I'm guessing I gotta like flip that out. No, I just got it, I don't wanna break it. Seems like I know that sits up higher. Maybe I should look at a manual to see how that works. Yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. So I'm gonna get this plugged in and I will be right back. All right, I'm just gonna do a quick cut here. I already tried. A couple to do just a couple of basic things and I got to play with this a lot more but I'm just gonna show you that right out of the box what you can do so I'm just gonna turn it on now I have watched some demo videos so I do have kind of a, a basic idea what to do um, I haven't been able to figure out um, what that little intro is if it's supposed to be a video or whatever but anyhow so I am gonna cut out um, like some letters so here and then there's seven fonts all together there's those and then there's a one more and which one do I want to do let's do this one and then I'm gonna type in and there is a cap and a lowercase so there's a lowercase so I'm gonna do Now I gotta find numbers. There it is. B two B. I think that's do M. All right. So got that now here's where you adjust your size so let's see I'm gonna do it a little cuz I don't have a real big six seven eight I'm gonna do it kind of small so I only have the end of a 
eight and a half by 11 piece of paper stuck in there. So I'm going to do it kind of small, six, eight. That should fit because see this is inches. So I know seven, eight, that's eight inches and my paper is eight and a half. So that ought to be good. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna load the mat. Yeah, that's that button right there. And then hit cut. And then hit start. Now, it did take me a few minutes to figure out how to get the blade set, but in this quick reference guide there is you should do this part first we're adjusting the blade extension that tells you out of the box what to do and this is all your thicknesses and stuff for your different kinds of paper so this part first up just for the heck of it. Put that down just for the heck of it. And I don't know if you can see there. And then you can see that it cut it out. So I'm going to just get to they all peel right up. Now, if you're familiar with a Cricut, this mat does not seem quite as, the, the stickiness is a little different. I'm just flipping it up because I don't want to get um, lint from my shirt all over um, this mat. Because it just, it has a different texture and feel from a Cricut, if that's what you're used to. I do like this little spatula. Um, when I use my, oops, I bent that a little bit. Um, there we go. Uh, my friends Cricut, I tend to use a, an old Creative Memories tool that I have, uh, but I am liking this. If I, these are a little delicate, but if you've ever cut letters on a machine before, you know that that does happen, and to be a little bit gentle, and I'm just going to get all my scraps off there while I'm sitting here, and put this to the side and put my cover ring back on it so it doesn't get windy because that is not good for these mats. So. All right, so there we have it. So I'm so excited. I used to only be able to do this when I hung out with my friends and now I could do it on my own and not always have to be borrowing theirs, which I mean, I do enjoy our time together. But now I can do stuff whenever I want. So I'm trying to get some glare right there. Anyway, I hope you kind of get the uh, idea. I'm trying to get those in a spot where there's a little less glare, but it's just not really working. There. You get the idea now. Now I get it all messy. But this is what I, I didn't set up my lighting properly because I wanted to do this kind of quick for you guys. Because I have to go make dinner but there that's my first test run I'm gonna mess around with a little bit more really excited I think this is gonna be an awesome tool and thanks for stopping by come back for more 
brother scan and cut fun and card making fun and hauls and whatever else. Uh, I'll be posting that Viva Las Vegas stamp haul as soon as my stuff comes in. So thanks so much. Talk to you again soon. Find something crafty to do. Have a great day. Bye.